what is the fundamental unit of life or in other words what is the building block of an organism's body the cell that's absolutely right cells make up the bodies of all living organisms how many cells do you think an organism needs to live one two hundreds well now that depends on the organism we are talking about an organism like amoeba is made up of only a single cell yes you heard it right just one single cell constitutes the body of an amoeba this cell carries out all the functions of this organism's body be it respiration digestion locomotion and excretion what about a cat or a dog do they have a single cell of course they don't they have many cells which make up their entire body there are groups of cells which carry out different functions for example all cells of type a will carry out the function of respiration and cells of type b will carry out the process of digestion but what are these groups of cells called do they have a specific name yes each cluster of cells is called a tissue and each tissue carries out a specific function such organisms with many tissues are called multicellular organisms multicellular organisms have tissues in their bodies which are placed at specific places to carry out specific functions this is called division of labor in the organism's body can you give me a few examples of tissues in the human body the muscles yes the muscles are tissues that help movement by contraction and relaxation what about blood do you know that blood is a tissue yes blood helps transport nutrients hormones and waste materials as well blood is a connective tissue of the human body let us look at plants now do you think plants have tissues too are the tissues of plants and animals similar do you think plants need the same tissues as humans logically they do not have the same tissues as humans do but they do have tissues let us see what the considerable differences between the two are do plants move from one place to another like humans do no right plants are stationary and their movement is restricted so a closer look at a plant tissue will make you realize that most of them have dead tissues yes dead tissues and why do you think plants need dead tissues the answer is quite simple plants only need mechanical support hence they do not need living tissues dead tissues serve the purpose of giving support to plants and they need very little maintenance what about animals do animals move yes animals move from place to place and they need tissues for purposes more than just physical almost all tissues in animals are living tissues these tissues need nutrition which they get from the organism's body what else could be a possible difference between the two do you know that there are two types of tissues in plants one type of tissue divides throughout its lifetime while the other type of tissue does not have the ability to divide what is the purpose of such a differentiation well plants do not grow uniformly throughout their body their growth is restricted to some specific parts in these parts we find the tissues which can divide on the other hand there are parts which do not grow beyond a specific limit they have the non dividing tissues can this apply to the human or the animal body of course not humans and animals exhibit uniform growth throughout their body therefore animals have tissues that divide spread throughout their body parts they do not have these two types of tissues in our further videos we shall look at what these tissues are called as well as the characteristics of each type of tissue